My name is Father Ed Hathaway. I'm the pastor of St. Veronica Catholic Church here in Chantilly, Virginia. A prayer always precedes action. So we want to be built up in the life of Jesus and then share that with each other in fellowship. Uh, we're also looking forward to the pilgrimage October 8th uh, at the Basilica of the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. Uh, as you know, as a diocese, every second year we uh, make a pilgrimage to the Shrine in honor of the Blessed Mother asking her protection intercession upon our diocese, our parishes, and our families. Uh, this year we're uh, involved with a Eucharistic Adoration and a Global Living Rosary, which will of course be at the October 8th event itself, but also in three events leading up to that. Uh, first one coming up very soon, March 27th at Holy Trinity Parish, uh, and then May 1st uh, at John Paul the Great High School, be having an outdoor uh, Global Living Rosary and Eucharistic Adoration with our Bishop, Paul Laverde. Very grateful. Uh, our Bishop will be there leading us in prayer on the same day that Pope John Paul will be beatified in Rome. So we're uniting ourselves uh, with the Universal Church as well as, as a diocesan church. And then uh, our last uh, event leading up to the pilgrimage will be September 11th, which is the 10th anniversary of the tragedy of 9-11. That event will be on Sunday at 3 o'clock, which is the Hour of Divine Mercy. We'll be praying the Global Rosary for world peace, as well as for the families and for the spread of our faith. United together as a diocesan church, uh, we hope to multiply the power of our prayers. And so we want you to pray with us and to encourage people to attend our October 8th pilgrimage, uh, looking for great fruitfulness, inviting families to pray in preparation the Daily Family Rosary, as we've been encouraged by so many saints and uh, popes, and also to spend one hour of Eucharistic Adoration as a family. It uh, doesn't mean the whole family has to go every week, uh, but that maybe mom and dad go uh, the first uh, week, the next week it could be father, son, the next week mother, daughter, and so on, so that that family has adopted one hour of Eucharistic Adoration per week uh, in the Daily Family Rosary. We believe that is what will be the source of conversion and a renewal within not only the family to inspire it and to bring peace into the family, but also to the nation and the culture, since the culture in our society is made up of families. By focusing on the family and its sanctification and holiness, we hope to have a holier culture, as Pope John Paul II called for, a culture of life and a civilization of love.